coming up on today's episode of the AMA Drone Report. The FAA proposes limited type certification for drones. The AMA Coalition speaks out for the model aviation community. And drone racing is coming to video game consoles. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. The FAA is requesting comments on a proposed policy for the type certification of certain UAS with no occupants on board as a special class of aircraft under Section 21.17b. This rulemaking is being targeted primarily at the upcoming generation of delivery drone systems. The proposed policy applies only to the procedures for the type certification of UAS and is not intended to establish policy impacting other FAA rules on unmanned aircraft such as operations, pilot certification, or maintenance. The notification in the Federal Register states, the UAS affected by this policy will include those used for package delivery. Future FAA activity through either further policy or rulemaking will address type certification for UAS carrying occupants. This action calls for comments to be received in just a few weeks, on or before March 4th. Now it's time for our Drone Minute, where we'll be taking a quick look at some interesting news making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The 2020 African Drone Forum in Rwanda began yesterday and will conclude on Saturday the 8th. The forum is made up of a symposium and expo, as well as competitive drone flights being held on the final day. Transportation infrastructure in Africa is expensive, and only 34% of the population live within 2 kilometers of an all-weather road. The event offers a platform for the drone industry to showcase their state-of-the-art technology for cargo drone deliveries, which will offer a starting point for radically rethinking the region's mobility. If you thought the Super Bowl TFR was unnecessarily restrictive, take a look at this video which shows the air traffic flow around Miami's Super Bowl region. FAA air traffic controllers, supervisors, and technical operations professionals did a tremendous job managing the increased operations before, during, and after the Super Bowl in Miami. Recent patent documents strongly suggest Sony is looking to get into the drone business by developing a flying camera. With this concept, the aircraft would fold into a camera shape until it's unfolded in order to be ready for flight. We will keep you updated as we receive more information. Beginning in the spring semester, Pennsylvania's Hanover High School will be one of the first in the U.S. to offer a drone piloting course. The curriculum will teach students to build, fly, conduct basic repairs, and properly disassemble drones. Students will study the FAA requirements to become a drone pilot, and the class will culminate in students taking the FAA Remote Pilot Certification Exam to become licensed. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. The AMA is continuing to fight the FAA's proposed rule on remote ID, which they feel would be burdensome and jeopardize the future of the model aviation community. The AMA has created a coalition to help with this fight and is asking manufacturers, hobby shops, and like-minded associations to join them. An overview of the remote ID controversy shows there are three proposed scenarios. Standard remote ID, limited remote ID, and FAA-recognized identification areas. The AMA as well as other entities have analyzed these concepts and have found issues with all three scenarios. They are encouraging everyone to contact the FAA through their national campaign and to post about their opposition on social media. You do not have to be an AMA member to make a comment. Players of liftoff drone racing will be able to experience the excitement of fast-paced air races on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One this year. Console players will get a first-hand look into the world of drone racing, which will include competing against other FPV pilots. From countless original licensed frames, as well as individual parts, the quadcopters can be customized to fit the individual needs of their pilot. 
The game will also offer different game modes for experienced pilots, as well as for newbies to help them improve their piloting skills at their own pace. Liftoff drone racing will offer a dedicated assisted flight feature, making drone racing easily accessible to every player. The PC version of the game was released in September of 2018 on Steam and continues to enjoy great popularity among enthusiasts of modern drone racing sport. And that wraps up this week's drone report. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Head over to modelaircraft.org for more information on the exciting hobby drone world. I hope you had a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow to wrap up the week with an episode of Airborne Unlimited.